guys, it's Kylie, and in today's video, I have some pin mail. So in this video, I have a bunch of pin mail packages. There's gonna be two of these videos coming out pretty close to each other. One's gonna be the first half of my pin trades that I did, and then the second video will be the other half of the pin trades. I'm super excited to open these up. I made these trades on Facebook. Most of them came from either Oh Hello Robin's Facebook group or Disney Kitty's Facebook group, which I'll have both linked in the description down below. They're both awesome Facebook groups, and Oh Hello Robin's does trading days, so they, she does four days a month that you can trade pins on her group. So this is from one of the sets of trading days from the month of July and I'm super excited to open up all these awesome pins. So I'm just gonna cut into a couple of these. I'm gonna save the biggest package for last because who doesn't love saving the best for last? It's definitely the largest package that I've ever received for pin mail. Um, not just in the number of pins but it's a nice and large package. So I'm just gonna be careful cutting into this first one. This first one is from Ellen and I've traded so many pins that I don't even remember what I traded with most of these people. So this is gonna be definitely a fun opening for both me and you because I don't even remember what I traded. I just know there's some awesome pins coming. So if I open this up, it's stapled and taped and everything shut. We make sure it's fully empty on the inside. I will say she put a nice DVC sticker on the outside and she put a, a lady sticker on the front, but I'm not going to show you that because it has our addresses on it. And she put a nice little note. It says, hi Kylie, thanks for the trade. Take care, Ellen. So here's her little note. She put some car stickers on it. All the pins are wrapped in some Shop Disney tissue paper. So I'm gonna rip these open. And I'm super excited to see what we got. I do love the Shop Disney tissue paper that has all the different characters on it. And here is our first one. Oh, it's also in bubble wrap. So these are all wrapped up nice and safely. That's definitely a pro. You wanna make sure they're wrapped up nice and safely. This first pin we have is an awesome one to start out with. It's a limited edition pin. It's actually like two pins that connect to make one pin. So it says best with Elsa and then friends with Anna. I have this one, I think, in one of my other collections. I'm not sure if it's my Winnie the Pooh or one of my other collections, I have this pin. And I do really love it. And I think it's an awesome pin to add to my Frozen collection. The next pin we have here is also wrapped up nicely in our tissue paper and we're gonna unravel it and I have a nice pile of tissue paper and bubble wrap when we're done with this and we're gonna pull off the back and see if we can get it out of the bubble wrap there we go and it is a chip pin it's a trip Christmas pin it's actually Ellie of 3600 it's a super cool holiday wreath I just think it's an awesome pin to add to my chip and Dale collection I was definitely trying to find different pins that I didn't have in my collection either some older pins or some more unique pins that I didn't already have in my collection to add to my collection and then the third pin we got from Ellen is something else. Oh, a Monsters Inc. pin. It's kind of funny because you trade so much that you don't even remember what you traded for. Um, so this Monsters Inc. pin is obviously for my, it's Mike, it's for my Monsters Inc. collection and it actually is Mike kind of going back to school. So it's got him with his backpack and his luggage when he goes to MU, so Monsters University. I think this is a super awesome pin. I'm very excited to add this one to my Monsters Inc. collection and thank you Ellen for the trade. This next trade we have here is from Kristen and she's got it in a nice purple bubble mailer and it's got like a donut sticker on the back and she put a Mr. Potato Head and Mrs. Potato Head sticker on the front and we're gonna pull this open and see what we traded for in here so it looks like three pins I think and a little note so it says thank you for the trade enjoy your new pins Kristen so she put a Woody sticker and then a little cupcake sticker and then these three pins all wrapped in bubble wrap I was able to trade for a couple Splash Mountain pins, which is super awesome. So this first one is a just an open edition Splash Mountain pin. It was part of a booster set that had some different places. So I had like Space Mountain, I think the Jungle Cruise. So I was able to get the Splash Mountain one. I actually have the Space Mountain and Jungle Cruise, I believe, already in my collection. But I was super excited to be able to get the Splash Mountain. It's almost like a little postcard stamp. And it's very cool to add that to my collection. The next pin we have here is definitely a smaller size pin. You can see how tiny it looks in the bubble wrap. It is for my Winnie the Pooh collection. It's actually one I didn't have. I think I've looked at this before. I have it. I think I have the Chippendale version of this pin. If I'm not mistaken, it's just like a booster pack pin. But we're going to see if we can get this bubble wrap off of it. There we go. And it is a little tiny Winnie the Pooh pin. It's, he's got like his arms in front of us. I think it's super cute. And it's a super small little tiny pin. Definitely an awesome pin to add 
to my Winnie the Pooh collection. And then the third pin's actually for a side collection. I don't usually talk about that much. It's actually my sports collection. Um, I do like finding pins for this collection, but it's definitely a smaller one of my side collections. And this one is a football pin. So this is a wide world of sports pin that has a football on it. I have a, believe a basketball version of this already in the collection, but they have like a basketball and baseball. I think it was like a booster set that you could get at wide world of sports if you were competing there. I just think it's a super awesome and this one has the football on it. So thank you, Kristen, for that trade. Super excited to add those all to my different collections. The next package we have here is from Michaela. I'm super excited to open this up. She put a princess on the back and we're gonna cut it open to see what we traded for. And we got inside a bunch of little goodies. So pulling it out, we have this cool Mulan. I don't know if it's a sticker or like some sort of like cut cut out of Mulan. I think that's super cool. I wonder what this is from. It's very cool. And then we have a little thank you note that says thanks so much for the trade, Michaela. She added in um, a couple little stickers. So a Tiana and a Rapunzel sticker. Those are super cute. And then we did trade two pins. So the first pin is for my Monsters Inc. collection. It's one I was trying to get in the mystery set. I'm not sure if this is the same pin from the mystery set, if this is a different pin. But it's just a character I didn't have already in my Monsters Inc. collection that I was looking to add. It is art. I've actually wanted to add some art pins to my collection as the person who like was the voice of art in the Monsters University movie actually graduated from the same college I go to. So I've been wanting to add some art pins to my already pretty big Monsters Inc. collection. So I'm super excited to be able to get this art pin and add them to my collection. It's very cool and definitely an awesome pin to be adding to my collection. And then the other pin that I traded with Michaela is actually a limited edition pin. And it is in honor of the 20 years of pin training. I won't be completing this whole set. I know a lot of people were trying to complete this whole set and there's been like delays in some of the pin making of this. But I did want this one as it is one of the characters that I do have for my main collection, which is Chip and Dale. So this is the Dale of the 20 year anniversary of pin trading. So this is the pin. So it's an emerald on the outside. And then when you flip it open, it has Dale, so if you collected the whole set, you would be able to make a full circle of pins. And then on the inside, I think at the event, which is actually gonna be held virtual this year, they were gonna be releasing a pin to go in like the middle of it. But I'm still super excited to get this pin and at least have one pin in the set. I probably won't be getting the whole set, but it's still fun to add this to my Chip and Dale collection. So thank you, Michaela, for that trade. And the next one we're gonna do is from Karen. This package from Karen, I like that she reused an Amazon Prime little package. I think that's a fun way to reuse envelopes. And we're digging in and it's all wrapped up nice and tightly in here. And looks like it's got a plastic bag wrapped around it and then it's all wrapped up in bubble wrap inside there. So the first thing I see is some cacti stickers. Those are super cute. I really do love the fun colors of the different cacti. And then we have a little note that says, hi Kylie, thanks so much for the trade, Karen. And then the pin or pins is wrapped up in this awesome bubble wrap. The first pin we have here is a Winnie the Pooh pin and it actually is the 2020 Winnie the Pooh pin. When I opened the 2020 mystery box, I was hoping for this one but wasn't able to get that. So I'm super excited to be able to have this to add to my Winnie the Pooh collection. I do love the honey around Pooh. It's like this gold shiny color. I think that's super cool. So I'm very excited to add that to my Winnie the Pooh collection. And then this other pin I got was a Mickey Halloween pin. I thought this would be fun for a Halloween pin board. And it's got, it's an older pin, it's from 2005, and it's just got Mickey with a fun skeleton outfit on with like a skeleton mask. I just thought that was a super cool Halloween pin, and it would be another awesome add to our Halloween pin board. So thank you, Karen, for that trade. And now we're gonna move on to this awesome giant package. You can see how big this package is. And this is from Carolyn. And she did add some Mickey and Goofy stickers to the front, but I'm not gonna show you that because of our addresses. And I'm excited to snip into this one. So cutting it open, oh my God, it's filled with so many goodies. Okay, no wonder this, I was so confused on why this package weighed so much, or even though it is a bunch of pins, but it, it has so many awesome goodies in it. And oh, okay, so we got our empty bubble mailer. The first thing that we see here is a Disneyland Resort Diamond Celebration pen. That is so awesome. I love some Disneyland merch. As I'm a Disney World person, it's so awesome to get some Disneyland merch. Then we have some awesome Minnie Mouse sticky notes. Look at all these awesome sticky notes. It's a nice thick pad of sticky notes and it says my signature look, fabulous, and has Minnie Mouse 
all over it. That's another awesome set. Definitely gonna be using these to write in some future pin mails. These are awesome to write some fun notes. Then we have an American Tourister Disneyland 60th luggage tag. That is super awesome from the Walt Disney Travel Company. That is so cool. Where'd you get this? This is so awesome. Definitely an awesome ad. And then all of the stuff, all of our pins are in this Beauty and the Beast and Moana trick or treat bag from their version of the Halloween party. I believe this is the Disneyland Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party bag. And then on top of that, we have a Disneyland 60th Diamond Celebration postcard that has a little note on it that says, Kylie, thanks so much for trading. I love my Walt. Happy future trading, Carolyn. I did trade her a bunch of Walt pins. And inside this bag, I'm super excited. It's like opening a little Christmas present with all the different pins. So opening it up, there's lots of bubble wrap on the inside. And oh my God, look at all these pins. So I knew I traded her a bunch of pins, but seeing them all is like... Oh my God. So the first one we're going to start with is an Olaf pin for my Frozen collection. And it has, it's an Olaf Summer 2017. It's got like a pin on pin element with a sparkly Olaf. And it's super cute, very excited to add this. It's limited edition of 5,000. Just a super awesome, fun Olaf pin. I really like that pin. That's even spark. I didn't realize all the glitter on that when I was seeing the picture of it. The next one is another pin for my Frozen collection. And this one is a newer pin. It is an Elsa pin with Nook or Nock. I ne never know how to pronounce the horse's name from Frozen 2. It's a limited release pin. Super pretty pin. It's got some awesome glitter element to it. Um, you can see the glitter in the horse's mane. It says true to myself. Super excited to add that to my Frozen collection. The next one is another Frozen pin. You can see I did a theme with a lot of Frozen pins. This one is Olaf and it says, all my best friends are flakes because they're all snowflakes. This is super awesome. He's There's some awesome like gems. I don't know if you can see that in the snowflakes. So you can see like there's a gem right there and a gem right there in the snowflakes. This is a super awesome pin. This is just an open edition pin but very cool to add this to my Frozen collection. The next one is for my Winnie the Pooh and Friends collection, and this is actually a Tigger pin, because Tigger's motto is TTFN, and that's what this pin has. It has his motto written right across it. This is a super cool pin from 2008, and it says TTFN, ta-ta for now. Um, super awesome pin to add to my collection. I really do love getting all these different pins that some of these I hadn't even ever seen before, so it's definitely cool to be able to trade for them for my collection. The next one is an Ariel pin, and even though that's not something I collect, it is the second pin in the series that has the different seasons. I do have the Rapunzel one that I got while I was in Florida, so this is the summer one to go with my Rapunzel. I'm super excited to add this. I'm not sure if I'm going to collect the whole set, but I thought I might as well pick up Ariel as she is super awesome and at least have two of them. I really do like the Frozen one that's coming out for winter. It's just so hard to buy some of these pins on Shop Disney, so it's kind of like a luck of the draw if you're able to get it. But super excited to add this with my Rapunzel and hopefully you'll be able to complete the four seasons. And this trade just keeps getting better and better. There's even more pins. These next two pins that I have are for my Chip and Dale collection. And these are ones that I was super excited to be able to find, something I didn't really ever see before. These pins are so much bigger in person too. On the picture, I wasn't sure how big they are. And it is a 2011 D23 official fan club pin. Super cool. Um, very awesome. It's got an epoxy coating over the front of it, but it's very sleek and it's on the D23 backer card. And it has, ooh, it's got like a fun D23 logo on the back with Dale. It's super cool. D23 official 2011. I think this was like a pin if you signed up for D23, one of those pins. So super awesome. And this other one is another D23 pin. This is a different year's pin. This is 2013. And this has both chipmunks on it. So opening this one up, we have both Chip and Dale. And pulling it off, it's the official G23 Disney Fan Club 2013. Another awesome pin. These pins are so big. Like, if you know size at all, here's like that 2020 pin. You can see how big it is compared to this 2020 pin or how big it is um, compared to like some of these other pins that I got or like this limited edition pin. Even though this is like a good size pin, you can just see how big the backer card is and the pin is compared. It's so awesome. And I'm super excited to add this to my collection and my Chippendale collection as well. And then we do have one more final pin 
to add to our collection from this awesome trade with Carolyn. And this is one that I was super excited to be able to get. It is actually um, a splash, it's not exactly a splash mountain pin, but it is Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Fox, I believe. Or at least, let's see which one. It might be Br'er Bear and Br'er Fox. It is, yeah, Br'er Br'er and Br'er Fox. It's the Grand Californian holiday pin from 2017. It's limited edition of 1250 I have a few of these other ones from the Grand Floridian and the Boardwalk, I believe, because those are the hotels I stayed at, or at least the Boardwalk, definitely. And I'm super excited to add this one, as it does have some awesome characters in Br'er Br'er and Br'er Fox. So very excited to add that to my resorts collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my entire pin haul. I will have another one of these videos coming out. Um, it would be way too much to put them all in one video, as this video is already pretty long because there's so many awesome pins. So I will have one other video coming out in the next week or so with another awesome haul of pin trades. And look out for a lot more pin trading videos in the future. I had so much fun doing all these awesome pin trades and I'm excited to do more in the future. And if you're ever interested in trading with me, definitely message me on my Instagram. I'd be happy to send you over my traders. I got tons of them. And be happy to see what you had if you wanted to make a trade. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more Disney videos on this channel. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!